guys and welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell from the title of this video and from the reindeer sitting in my lap, then let me just tell you, today we are going to do a Christmas inspired video. So I've had this channel for a long time, but something I've never kind of spoken about or um, invited you into my world on is the fact that I am obsessed with Christmas. I am talking, I am that girl that if I could force my family to wear ugly Christmas sweaters and take photos, I would. My Christmas tree is up as soon as possible because hello, Christmas flies by so fast. Like who doesn't want to celebrate Christmas for two months? Um, and it's not even just the holiday itself, it's just the whole like environment and the spirit of it. I love the shopping and seeing people happy and Everything about Christmas I love, I love, I love, I love. This is Navidad. My daughter got Navidad when she was, I think, a year old. So this is our Christmas reindeer. But of course, so seeing that, being that I love Christmas, I go all out. I mean, my makeup, my hair, everything is inspired during this season. And my house is decorated to the nines. So I thought that it could be fun to show you guys something that I do every single year and that is to make some fun homemade Christmas crafts that can be around for hopefully the rest of my children's lives. So every year I choose some crafts to do with my kids, I do some myself and today I thought I would share some with you. So if you're interested in seeing some fun Christmas do-it-yourself crafts then stay tuned. Before I get started I do want to mention that this is a collaboration video with Rachie Bop here on YouTube. Um, her channel is a bit different than mine. It's a bit more tech related. She does a lot of fun tech stuff and Q&A's and stuff. But she is super cute, super fun, and I would highly recommend checking out her channel if you are into that kind of thing. And I will have her information linked down below in the description box. The first craft we're going to be doing is a Christmas inspired shadow box. For this craft, you are going to need one shadow box, cardstock, any little accessories to go inside, Mod Podge, paint, stickers to stick on, and paint brushes. For the second step, you're going to take a paint color of your choice and paint all over the shadow box. What I did was I painted the first coat, um, added some more like a second coat, and then I waited an hour and came back and painted over it again. As you wait for the paint to dry, you can take the backing of the shadow box, place it onto some cardstock, and trace an outline of it. And next, cut out the design. Continue by painting the back of the cardstock with Mod Podge, and then taking the cardstock and placing it on the backing of the shadow box. Try to do small sections at a time to prevent bubbles and to get it as smooth as possible. Now for the fun part, you're going to take your accessories and throw them into the box however you would like and then take the backing of the shadow box and put it back on. And finally, add some stickers to have your shadow box say whatever you want it to say. And if you want to have even more fun with it, spray your box with some fake snow. For this project, you're going to need a cheap mug, some chalkboard paint, a paintbrush, and some tape. First step is to take some tape and try to apply it around the cup as smoothly as possible with as straight of a line as possible. Then go back and do the same thing with the handle. And now it's time to paint your mug with some chalkboard paint. After one hour, go in with the second coat and if any additional coats are needed, wait an hour between that as well. Once the chalk paint has settled for 24 hours, you'll need to go in and season the paint. You do this by using a piece of chalk and applying light pressure all over the surface area of the paint. And now you're ready to write a fun message. At this point, you can use it as an actual mug or do as I do and use it for a fun decoration. For this next project, you'll need a pine cone, a small terracotta pot, glitter spray, fake snow, and green spray paint. 
The first step is to thoroughly cover your pine cone with green spray paint. Next two steps are optional, but I went in with a glitter spray to give it a glisten effect and went back in with fake snow to give it a snow effect. Allow the paint to dry, bring it inside, place it in some terracotta pots, and voila, you have mini Christmas trees. And of course, if it makes you feel better, add some hot glue and stick that to your pine cones to help them stay in place. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see your creation so make sure to send me a tweet if you do recreate these or make some of your own and I will see you guys next time. Bye!